What is molecular diffusion? Well, molecular diffusion, also known as molecular transport, can be defined as the transfer or movement of individual molecules through a fluid by means of random individual movements of the molecule. Yeah, it, it sounds a little bit fancy, but that is the formal definition. The molecules will travel or transfer only in straight lines and in the process will most likely collide with other molecules in their path. So remember that molecules typically go straight, they collide and change directions. They pass kinetic energy to other uh, uh, molecules and so on. The molecules then change direction, still in a straight line, remember, after the collision. This is sometimes referred as random walk process. And uh, yeah, this is kind of chaotic, but essentially it eventually works because let me check. Now let's check it out here. If you see a lot of B, you see that B will push a lot of A. Eventually A will redistribute and B will crash between each other and they will move until they become in equilibrium. You can now also assume that the movement is the kinetic movement is due to the thermal energy or internal energy. And once again, this is erratic movement, so you cannot predict it. Yet, you can assume a bulk or bulk movement. So you know high concentration goes to low concentration. The mass transport goes from left to right. Okay, so the rate of diffusion, you can then calculate it as the total distance traveled per unit time, distance of the molecules, Therefore, mathematically, you can get rate of diffusion equals total distance travel in total time. Now, this is, of course, very theoretically or very in microscopic. We are interested in macroscopic. Why? Because macro is what we will see. Increasing temperature favors increase in thermal energy, therefore increase in rate of diffusion. Why? More energy, more movement. More movement, more distance. Decreasing pressure favors decrease in collisions. Why? Because they have more space, therefore they will travel longer until they, are, they will collide. If this is true, the total distance or free mean path will be higher, hence faster rate. Okay, overall you should get through this. If you want to increase the rate, decrease the pressure and increase temperature. Uh, Previously, we said fluids, but technically speaking, molecular diffusion can happen in any state or phase, in solids, liquids, and gas. In this specific course, we will focus mainly in diffusion of gases.